welcome to my channel in this video i'll be teaching you how i caught this 4.29 r trade 10 r trade and 21 r trade using the liquidation entry strategy make sure you watch this video to the end so that you can catch all the details if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe so that you can get more of my videos see you after the intro welcome to a dexib academy in this class, we will dive into the exciting world of Forex trading. Get ready to learn the ins and outs of currency markets and how to trade like a pro. Learn from the best and watch your success soar. A DexyB Academy. I want to continue from where we stopped in our last video, okay? We'll be talking about how we use liquidation entry to pick trades. This trade you are seeing now, I use this exact strategy to pick it. This uh, a far trade a 10 hour trade and a 21 hour trade and i'll be showing you exactly how i apply the uh concept from the previous video if you have not seen the previous video just look at the top of the screen you will see a link flashing out make sure you watch that video so that you understand it properly and come back to this okay so let's see how this works so, uh we're talking about liquidation entry model okay where we say we want to see uh, a simple block of structure like this, okay? Before we place any trade, we want to see a simple block of structure like this, but we need liquidity before we can place our trade. So the liquidity will either come, we either come in the leg that broke structure, okay? We either come in this leg that broke structure, so that means we expect the liquidity to be somewhere here. So in this example, in the previous video examples, we used a fake order block. So you want to see something like a fake order block here within this leg that some people will put their entry and prices will run it and tap into your own uh, value order block below. So that's the, that's the theory, okay? We have just inverted for sale, okay? So I want to show you more example of that in this video, all right? So, these are GBP USD charts, and uh, we are taking this example from Friday, uh, 9 February 2024. Okay, so um, I'll just play price forward. Okay, in this example, from what we are seeing, we can see a clean break of structure here, and uh, we have this very nice other block. We have that very nice other block. Okay. So, but there's no any thing I can, the only inducement that I can say that other block has is this. So, if price should come and sweep this other block right here, if price should come and sweep that other block, then I'll go down to my one minute time frame and look for an entry. Okay, that's exactly how the uh the strategy works okay so i just need price to go below there yeah this is exactly what i need it didn't actually close below this other block so and i see that sweep i'll just go straight to my one minute and try to find entry okay so let's see if i'm going to get an entry Let's see if we're going to get an entry. Okay, there's no entry. Price just kept going down. Price kept going down. So it swept this low to sweeping this other block that I wanted to use. Sweeping it as also uh, a liquidity is something that uh, would have looked would have tried to trade but i didn't find any other block right here that I can place and this is the break of structure i'm using okay so definitely i'll just keep playing price forward i'll just keep playing price forward because i've not really seen anything so we have a new break of structure right here we have a new break of structure right here A new break of structure right there. Uh, we have 
this should be liquidity sweep. And uh, we have our we have our order block here. We have our order block there. So that's our order block. I can just place my tree there direct like that because I have everything I need. I have reconstructure, I have liquidity, I have my order block. I can do that. But based on this strategy we are trying, we are testing out. Okay. We wait for price to run this liquidity. Then we'll go to lower time frame for an entry. So let's wait. Let's please uh, play price forward and see. Price is generating more liquidity. This is more liquidity now. Okay, this is under liquidity now for the same other block. So price is generating more liquidity. I'll just keep only this one, okay? But this also liquidity sweep. Uh, liquidity that price can sweep. So let's see. We are having more and more liquidity being generated, okay? Because price breaking this structure here make this place even more stronger liquidity don't make a mistake of marking this place as break of structure okay so let's let's go let's go okay remember you can decide to just place your entry here if you want to do if you want to be a little bit aggressive place your entry here and you take profit above we can also do this, okay? But this is not what I want to do based on the uh, previous video. I want to wait for price to run this liquidity here. Take people out of their trade, tap into my other block. Then I look for a lower time frame entry, okay? So let's go. So you can please this if you want. I'll just leave it there. I'll just make it a little bit smaller, okay? So let's go play price forward okay price has taken out my liquidity i can just go to my one minute time frame now and begin to look for my entry okay what do we have I want it to tap, yeah. Okay, so that's tap into the other block properly. It generated more liquidity for us on the, the return leg here. Okay, and uh, it swept it. This more liquidity because this price actually make a higher high here, but it has not tapped into my other block and it didn't actually give me a change of character. This why that's why I don't even try to trade for me, but that's more liquidity for us because. This load take out this high. So this is where I want to enter my trade from. I'll just use this as my entry. Okay, I'll just use this as my entry. So that's going to be my entry. I'll bring my long position to so I'll just two PPSL, okay? So I'll target, uh, I'll target the 15 minutes I as my target. Remember, the person that is using this direct entry also have an entry, somebody that's using this aggressive entry. So but we are using conservative, so our take profit will be at this high right here, okay? That's how I take profit will be. So play price forward and see how is that that plays out. So that took us out. No problem. We won't panic. Instead, we'll look for another one. Okay.
We just look for another entry. We will not panic. We we'll look for another entry. Okay, so we have another entry. Almost the same thing as the one we had before. So, almost the same thing as the one we had before. But now we'll be using this. We have our change of character here. Okay, so let's see. We have another one. We still use the same take profits. So let's see how this is going to play out. Okay, again, we got stopped out. Again, we got stopped out. So this is going to be our entry. We have this change of character here. Okay. And uh This is going to be our entry. We have this change of character here on our one minute. And we'll just use this whole order block for our entry. So let's see how that is going to be play out. We use our 15 minute high as take profits. Okay. That's 15 hour. Not bad. So let's see how this is going to play. Okay, we are triggered. Again, we are stopped out. So we look for, we are still in this street, remember? We are still, uh oh, we are still in this street. Okay. So we have a change of character again. We try to enter again. So we have another change of character right here. And uh, let's see. Target is high. I'll just make it an R. Okay. So let's see. Okay, we are triggering now. So let's see how this is going to play out. Okay, we are moving this time around. Go to 15 minutes to make it clear. Okay, so uh, we have some price action here. We have some price action here. We have a break stop, break of, a, a change of character on our 15 minute time frame. The change of character happened right here, right? Yeah, it happened right there. Then we have uh, break of structure here. So, probably. So definitely we are expecting this slow to be a liquidity sweep. So price may actually sweep that low. So if price should come and sweep that low, we'll find another entry. Okay, so we have price coming there to sweep the low. So we have price coming here to sweep the low. 
Let's just say pretty. I'll just go to one minute. In the I see price sweep it. Then I'll find another entry. Shut up. But if it doesn't, fine. We keep our entry. We have two entry now on these streets. So let's see. Okay, price is swept, sweeping it. Okay, price has swept it. I'll begin to look for change of character. <clears throat> Okay, so we have a change of factor here, and uh, we can decide to use this. We have a change of character up on right here, right? I don't want to be marking change of character. If you don't know what change of character is, or how to mark it, you can just go to my channel and look for video and search for it. I have a lot of videos there. Talk about it. I can decide to put my SL here. That's just two pips SL. Not bad. For my second entry. Then I'll go to 15 minutes time frame. To still set my take profits. So my take profit is still be here. The same take profit is 21 hour. Okay. So let's see how this will run out. Will work out. Will play out. Sorry. Okay, we are triggered in now. I can just move to 15 minutes so that it will be faster. Let's see. So here we go. Here we go. How many trades did we have here? Though we lost like three trades trying to catch this uh, change of character in one minute. But that's totally fine because we are 10 hour, we have 21 hour, and we have uh, I deleted the third one, four hour, I think. That's the, uh, the aggressive entry, the one that will just place like this. I think it is four hour also. Yes, yeah, four hour, something like that. So we have so many trades here. Before we were able to catch this upward move, the price was just playing with us, and we are like three sales. Then we caught one thing out that's already cleared it. We caught this one 21 hour and this one four hour. So basically, this is how liquidation entry works. I hope you I hope you understand. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on the chats on the comment section. Okay. See you, see you on the next video. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share with your friend and make sure you drop your comments. Thank you very much.